A program to help low-income Americans get Internet access is running out of money. Now, Republicans and Democrats in Congress are actually working together to get more funding. Lawmakers introduced the Affordable Connectivity Program Extension Act, which would provide $7 billion to help Americans living below the poverty line pay their monthly Internet bill. The FCC stopped accepting new applications and enrollments for the Affordable Connectivity Program on February 8th. Unless Congress provides more funding, the FCC predicts it will run out of money by April. But I can tell you as a kid who grew up on food stamps, uh, every dollar matters. And when families in this program, uh, if this program is allowed to sunset and the dollars uh, spent, families will be forced to make some really important decisions. And I can tell you what's going to fall off their budget, access to the Internet. Here's an overview of the program. In 2021, Congress passed the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law. It gave the FCC $14.2 billion to help eligible households get up to a $30 discount on their monthly internet bill and a one-time $100 discount toward the purchase of a laptop, desktop, or tablet. 22 million households have signed up, and lawmakers are warning there will be consequences without action. There'll be moms and dads who are struggling with mental health and won't have access to mental health support uh, because uh, of the lack of Internet service. There'll be kids who need the Internet in order to educate, the, in order to improve their education, in order to uh, grow and, and to thrive. They will not have access. To qualify, household income must be below 200 percent of the federal poverty level. A family would also be eligible if a member participates in another federal assistance program like SNAP, Medicaid, or federal public housing assistance. According to Molinaro, half the beneficiaries are military families, 4 million are senior citizens, 3 million are families with school-aged children who qualify for free and reduced lunches, and 1 million are low-income college students. We are here uh, to fight for equitable access to high-speed broadband internet, which in 2024 is a basic necessity. In the age of virtual meetings, telehealth appointments, and online schoolwork, it has never been more important for Americans to have access to affordable um, high-speed internet. The bill has at least 29 co-sponsors in the House and three in the Senate. The lawmakers range from Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, who would have qualified for the program when he was a child, to Texas Democratic Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.